What's up guys, welcome back to the channel for another video and this time we're taking a look at the Lenovo Legion Go 2 BIOS update. It's not a really big update, but I figured it's a good opportunity to go ahead and do a quick little how-to video since I haven't done one of those for the Go 2 yet. More importantly, really for me though, there's been a GPU driver update over the past week or so pushed by Microsoft for a newer driver before Lenovo has. So we'll take a quick look at that first as well. So like I mentioned, we did get a GPU driver update among some other updates, um, AMD stuff and things for the go to that have been popping up. But more importantly, a GPU driver update, which does bring us to about a two week newer version, a little bit better version of a graphics driver for the Legion go to. It does seem to solve the Battlefield 6 crashing, which we were using some MSI claw drivers for before and stuff like that. And uh, it just overall does seem a bit better, kind of surprising coming from Microsoft before Lenovo. Usually we don't get our updates through windows update for that and typically it's a rollback or breaks it but not in this case actually is a better gpu driver for us there now as far as the bios that lenovo pushed out that's going to bring us up to version 13 currently if you go into legion space go to your settings your disk and drives and check for updates you can see any of your uh, BIOS version or recently installed updates. For me, you can see I'm on the 12WW, which I installed not long ago from them. So we're going to go ahead and update to the 13WW version here, and I'll show you how to do that. I'm going to use the quick access menu to go to online support, which is a pretty quick and easy way to jump over to the website. If you've done this before, you'll already have Lenovo Service Bridge installed, which will help you detect the process or the product. And if you don't have it already installed, you'll be able to select agree and get um, the service bridge installed so what will happen here is if it fails out you can click the little here to download get the uh, service bridge downloaded click the file to open and that will make it to where the website can um, actually search verify the product do automatic updates if you want to and things like that here with Lenovo so once that's detected which is just one of many ways to jump over to this site but I figured I would show it that way we can go to our drivers and software here I'm going to go to manual update where I can see everything here that's available and then we're going to have our bios section which is going to be where we grab our bios version from and we'll scroll down here now again there's not a lot of changes if really much of any they're really just rolling back one of the firmwares uh, versions here for the smu which if i'm remembering correctly has to do with the balancing between the cpu and gpu or how it kind of handles that i haven't really noticed any differences in my games or anything since updating but I wanted to do it anyway. And as far as that GPU driver, they still just have the release driver up, which is about two weeks older than the driver we looked at that Microsoft pushed out that solved the black or the Battlefield 6 crashes and things like that. There's also instructions here and stuff for installing the update, but we're gonna just show that here. So we're gonna download the new BIOS version here from the website. And once that's done, we'll go ahead and close out of the browser. I'm gonna go over to the downloads folder here. And then simple enough, all we're gonna have to do is double click on our newly downloaded BIOS version. It's pretty much going to do everything automatically. Now you are going to want to have your charger ready. I do typically recommend uh, having this plugged in and sometimes it won't even continue with the update if you don't. So once we open that and get things started up here, I'm going to click next and I'm going to go ahead and get plugged into the power supply here. All right, and then we'll be able to click next again here and it'll get started on the process do not turn off power of course don't force power this thing off or anything like that while you're doing your bios update now i'll pretty much go through everything automatically now i'm going to speed through this but i'll show you all the steps that happened to me after it automatically restarted i get a progress bar here once we get that up to 100 percent, it's going to do another restart for me it was kind of a lot of blinking with the lights and all that kind of stuff happening here as it starts the update with the BIOS and the firmware. And then once that was finished up, it took me into another restart and then kind of a warning of being patient, not turning off the device here, and then another progress bar. And then once that was finished up, it was another restart by the system, and then it was finished. That's just pretty much everything that I had to go through, but sped up there, it actually took about 10 to 15 minutes for me to get through and do everything with that install. But it's pretty quick and easy, and there's really not much to installing the BIOS on these things anymore. It tends to work pretty smoothly. And if I go into Legion Space and we just check our updates again here, we'll see we're now on that version 13WW for our BIOS update. That update combined with the GPU driver update that we got from Microsoft there, everything 
seems to be running good on the go too. And again, the only place that I've noticed the biggest difference is Battlefield 6, where I was having some crashes in this mission before, and I really haven't had any of that since the GPU driver update. Haven't noticed any real difference in clocks or the way it's dealing with things since I installed the new BIOS version, but I do like to stay updated and it was a good opportunity to show installing that here for you guys that haven't done it be before, don't know how that works. But also check your updates in Windows if you haven't got that GPU driver and check for that as well. And I recommend installing that even though I wouldn't always recommend that from Windows updates. It seems that they're ahead of Lenovo on this one. All right, guys, as always, thanks a lot for coming to watch. I really appreciate it and I'll see you in the next one.